Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. As we are getting closer to Hollow's Eve, it is very crucial and very important around this time to make sure to banish any unwanted spirits as well as unwanted people. Now I'm sure you've dealt with people that are extremely negative or people that just love to make our life a living hell. This is specifically for those that, you know, spend their whole time and their whole life talking shit about everyone else. Uh, people that just like to create and steer drama, instigators, uh, people that just, you know, whatever it is that you try to do, it just seems like they really don't give a shit and they're very used to not dealing with consequences. Well, this spell is definitely for you. This is to banish a specific individual or a person um, that is just making your life a living hell. It's very simplistic. Anybody can get these ingredients. Um, there is, I guess, with the exception of one ingredient, which is not necessary, but if you really want to empower this spell and make sure that this person does not ever bother you again, you're definitely going to be needing that ingredient. So anyways, let's get into it. What is it that you need? You're going to be needing a jar with a lid, as you can see here. These are spell works that have just been done for clients, um, just putting them here for show purposes. But you, uh, as you can see, you will be needing a jar with a lid. You're also going to be needing to draw or uh, to paint over the jar, the banishing sigil. And as you can see it here, let me turn it this way so you guys can see it. It's very simplistic. It is not that difficult. And what you're doing is basically you're creating and protecting your space, removing this specific individual from your life. This person is no longer welcomed. Um, should they continue to uh, fight or resist uh, being around you or steering up shit or even if they happen to mention your name, the more they continuously do this, the more they will start to experience a lot of chaos and destruction in their life. So in essence, you're not wishing them harm. You're just basically creating a boundary, a spiritual boundary that they are no longer able to cross should they continue to resist or fight the urge to stay away from you the more they you know talk about you the more they speak your name the more they steer you up in drama or the more they try to come around to see what's going on in your life shit and destruction will follow them that will keep them in their place so what do we need you're gonna need three black candles as you guys can see here these candles are meant to be burned on top of the jars, as you guys can see right here. Make sure to anoint them with holy water. Make sure to set the intentions and to, if you use powders like myself, make sure to powder them and prepare them. Um, if you don't, all you would need would be uh, holy water to bless them and to empower them for the spell. Now, second ingredient that you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing a railroad nail now these are sold in any botanical shop as you can see we have different uh waxes on here because we use these primarily for domination which is exactly what we're using it for in this situation this has already been ritualized obviously i've had it for over 10 years uh amongst other ones but we only need one now do you need or is it necessary to have a road a railroad uh nail yes because you want to make sure to dominate this person you want to have control over the situation and dominions is something very important if you are unable to get this nail then you're always able to i guess you can say substitute it for the nails the normal nails that you would buy at the home depot or something like that but like i said the rustier the older the nail the better because this is dominions over the situation so again if you are able to go to your botanical shop 
and get you one of these bad boys. Very, very important. They come extremely handy. You can use them not only for Dominion spells, but for protection spells as well. So moving along, like I said, a jar with the lid, three black candles, um, a railroad nail, and you're also going to be needing some cayenne pepper, some poppy seeds, you can get these anywhere at any grocery store. Um, these are extremely powerful when we're talking about confusion and chaotic spell work. That's exactly what we're doing here with the cayenne pepper. This is going to help you to completely keep them the fuck away from your energy. Now, what we're also going to be needing is a black marker or black pen. Um, and the extra or if you want to take it a notch i would say 10 notches up <laughs> we're going to be using graveyard dirt now for those of you guys that don't know how to work with graveyard dirt i do not encourage you guys to go to the cemetery and get graveyard dirt if you don't know how to work with it okay you don't want to be experiencing paranormal shit in your home or to be disturbing or disrespecting um, spirits that are roaming in the cemetery uh, so again if you can go to a botanical shop and get graveyard dirt and make sure that it is 100% authentic then I would encourage you to go that route um, now for those of you guys that do know how to work with graveyard dirt you guys already know this is extremely explosive it is extremely powerful um, you know you're pretty much sealing their fate in regards to should they cross you you're not wishing them any harm but should they cross you they will start to experience chaos uh destruction in their wake so you know anyways we're also going to be needing clothes you guys can see here these are extremely powerful for dominions obviously to be in control of the situation um moving along you're going to need some parchment paper as you guys can see here, you can use any type of parchment paper. All right, let's get to the nitty gritty. Before we begin, you have to make sure that you are having a candle for your protection. This spell may be or seem to be very easy to do and to put together, but the ingredients and the intention becomes extremely powerful. And yes, once you're done with the spell work and you put it away in your altar, or you put it away wherever it is that you keep your workings at, that residue energy, especially for those of you guys that are working with graveyard dirt, that residue energy is still there. So you have to make sure to banish any negativity or any negative energy. How do we do that? Make sure to light your protective candle. Now, if you guys uh, don't know how to do this, I have older videos that you can look at if you guys want me to update a video on how to prepare a candle for specifically your protection, comment below and let me know. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna light the protection candle. You're gonna call on your spirit guys and you're gonna ask them. I ask you to step forward to guide me in your light, to protect me and to empower and enhance the spell work that is about to commence. This is for my protection, for my sanity, for my uh, mental health for whatever it is that this person keeps doing or triggering in you you have to say out loud why you're doing this now very important can you do this on anyone you want to wish harm on if you're doing it taking it that route yes you can but if you are not protected i will tell you right now that shit will come back to you and it will come back to you really quick all right so you guys have to be careful don't do this unless it's necessary um to each their own i you know you guys already know for those of you guys that have followed me for quite a while i do all kinds of spell work and i don't look down on any of them and i claim them because that is exactly what i do um my spectrum is extremely wide um but when we're talking about energies when we're talking about spell work it is important to have a purpose of why you're doing these types of work. Don't go doing it just because you're the spiteful one. Do you see what I'm saying? There's a big difference. And if you do, this shit adds up and it comes very quick. Just putting it out there. All right. 
So let's get into this. What we're going to do is, like I said, you're going to get your jar. Do not cleanse your jar, you guys. When doing chaotic spell work, I see on TikTok, on Instagram, people cleansing the jar. Like you are literally protecting the person you're trying to keep away from you. Or if you're doing chaotic spell work by cleansing it, what you're doing is you're creating a barrier of protection. Don't follow the trends or what everyone is doing. Please research. Get knowledge on what you're doing. Don't just go blindly. This is why I explain on all my videos why we do what we do. Um, ignorance is bliss until chaos starts to unfold in your own life. And then you're messaging me or emailing me, Pinky, my life is shit. You know what I mean? So come on, you guys. Let's use common sense. All right. So you're going to get your jar. And what you're going to do is you're going to write down or draw the sigil of banishment. So uh, as you guys can see here, what you're going to do is you're going to do a circle. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. You're going to draw a circle. Then you're going to draw a second circle within that circle like this. Then you're going to do two X's. On each corner, you're going to do an arrow, okay? On each corner of the X's. I'm trying to make it as simplistic and as easy as possible for you guys. So it's going to look like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to draw, they kind of look like sperm cells, <laughs> um, and you're going to do this counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Why? Because we're banishing them, right? We're removing them from our lives. We don't want them in our lives. They're trash. They are just pieces of work that I choose not to fuck with or deal with, I should say. Not. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Like I said, the arrows, the little sperms <laughs> are going to go counterclockwise. We are banishing. We're removing. Once that is done, and I'm, you don't need to do this on the parchment paper. I'm doing it on one side of the parchment paper just to show you guys um, what needs to be drawn into the jar, okay? All right, so once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to get your parchment paper, and we're going to write down the person's name going down nine times so you're gonna write their name and last name and last okay i will show you okay so it's going to be like this. You're going to write down their first name, last name. If you happen to have their date of birth, you would put their date of birth on there as well. So it's name, last name, name, last name. You're going to go all the way down nine times. You're writing target's name nine times. Once that is done, on the far right corner, what you're going to write is your petition. So... On the far right corner, you're going to write down the petition going down. What do we write on the petition? What is it that you're trying to do? As an example, if it's a person that lives in your home and is very destructive, you want them the fuck out of your house, you're going to put move out or get the fuck out going down. Okay. Now, for these specific situations, these are people that like to fuck with other people. These are people that like to do pathetic, weak spell work. So we're going to give them a taste of their own medicine. Why? Because people deserve that. This is what happens when you fuck with people that you don't know the type of protection or the type of people they know. <clears throat> okay. So as you guys can see here. We wrote living hell. So as you guys can see, going down. All right, far right corner. So in the left side, you're going to put the first and last name, date of birth, going down nine times. On the far right corner, you're going to write what you're wanting to happen, going 
down, as you guys can see here, okay? All right, once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're gonna put the ingredients, right? What we're gonna put into, let me move this really quick. What we're going to do now is, sorry if you guys hear like uh, the kids in the background, the kids are in the living room and they're extremely loud. Anyways, just wanna <laughs> let you guys know. Okay, so once that is done, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get the nine, or we're gonna get the cloves and we're gonna add nine cloves, okay? You're gonna put nine cloves on the parchment paper like this, okay? You make sure you put nine of them on there, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine is a very spiritual number, but it is also a very dominion type of number. This is a, a number that is used when trying to control not only the situation, but a specific target. Obviously, in this situation, we're trying to control them to keep them the fuck away from us. Okay. So once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to be lighting a black candle, not from these three, but an extra black candle that you have, which obviously I've been using this one for these specific spells that I just started for clients right here. But anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to seal it. You're going to put some of the black candle wax on these cloves and it is very important and very crucial to take your time when doing this to put energy into why you're doing this type of work obviously i'm trying to protect my clients keep them um keep this person away from them completely they want nothing but to create chaos in their lives it's time that they get a taste of their own medicine to know exactly what it feels like and to know that they need to stop fucking with them then we're gonna add some of the cay uh, cayenne pepper and like I said the cayenne pepper is used so that we can keep them the fuck away from us okay this is going to repel them then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add more of the black wax like I said, take your time when doing this, you guys. Obviously, I couldn't show you guys the real spells that I'm doing over here because, well, obviously, personal information of clients, right? Okay, so once that is done, now what we're going to do is we're going to add the poppy seeds. Poppy seeds are, make sure to put a lot of poppy seeds. Um, these are used for chaotic spell work. This is to create chaos and confusion. This is to uh, pretty much have their head spinning, like not knowing where all this craziness is coming from. Um, finally coming to a complete halt and realizing that the more they fuck with you or the more they try to, you know, continuously keep coming in your life, the more difficult it's going to be for them. So they stop fucking with you really quick, let me tell you. All right, so then we're gonna add more of the wax on here. And like I said, you guys, this is extremely effective. It may seem like a harmless spell, um, but with the right state of mind, especially if you're doing this because this person, you know, has really gone above and beyond to hurt you or your family or to harm you or to create discord, it's really gonna hit them really hard. So. Just keep that in mind. All right, so once we're done with that, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get some of the graveyard dirt and we're gonna add a few. You don't need very much because you're going to be adding more graveyard dirt in the jar itself. Um, but right here, what I do is I would put some uh, a bit of graveyard dirt once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to fold the paper away from you, okay? Obviously, we're pushing them the hell away from us. So you're going to fold the paper away from you, okay? Once this is done, 
This is when you're going to put it in the jar, put it, as you guys can see here, we have two different ones. Um, one is with personal uh, items of the client that the client provided for me, and the other one is without it. Um, if you have personal items of the person, yes, it's going to really hit them really quick, and um, not only that, but extremely powerful. Um, almost even allowing them to kind of piece it together and be like, it, it's because since I fucked with her, or since I mentioned her name, you know, shit happens. And it's like, it, they pick up on that real quick and they know not to fuck with you anymore. Um, so anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to put it inside the jar, as you can see here. What we're going to do after that is we're going to add some of the graveyard dirt on the jar once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to get the candle and you're going to put more of the wax in the jar. Let me show you guys. Hopefully I can keep it kind of private. Um, so the graveyard dirt is in there and the wax. You're going to put some of the wax on top of the paper, the parchment paper or petition paper. And once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to light the first candle. This is a three-day ritual, a three-day process. You're gonna light the first candle. Now, like I said, it is very important that when you are done and about to light the candle, make sure to state, I call upon my wise and loving spirit guides to step forward, to guide me, to protect me with their shield of protection, to allow me to be empowered and strengthen the work that is about to commence for so-and-so, to keep them away from me, to keep them away from my family, to teach them a lesson if it is necessary and of their own doing. I am not sending or wishing harm, but they shall receive exactly what they create or want to send my way. Very important. Once that is done, you're gonna light the candle and you're gonna let it extinguish itself. Once it is done, the following day, you're gonna do the same prayer and the same uh, process. You're going to light the candle. You're going to do this for three days. Once the candles have been completely extinguished and your jar should be filled with seal, uh, wax seal, um, you can keep it at your altar or you can keep it in a safe place away from anyone that can see it. Um, wait it out. It should give you, you should start to see changes within seven days, especially if the person is at close proximity to you. You're going to be hearing about what's going on in their life. You're going to hear um, that they're pretty much, you know, not messing with you anymore. You're going to notice that really quickly. Um, once you feel like you've gotten the results that you needed and that person is no longer in your vicinity or no longer dealing with them, uh, you can always toss or get rid of the jar away from your home, you guys. Please be mindful uh, throw it at a dumpster, at a stinky place, somewhere where, um, you know, people dispose of trash. Um, and like I said, just make sure not to open the jar when it's done. When it's done, the way we dispose of it is, again, like I said, take it to a dumpster. Take it to somewhere where you can um, put it in a black bag and toss it away and don't look back. But don't open these types of work, you guys. I hope that you guys get amazing results. If you try this and you get results, come back and let us know on the comment section. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Before I forget, make sure that at the end, before lighting the candle, you put the railroad uh, nail in the plate or tray where you're doing your workings. This is going to keep you always on top of the situation and have dominions over the situation and the person. I hope you guys enjoy this and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.